Today, we're going to talk about Bing conversion tracking in WordPress. If you're already using Microsoft ads or considering running them on your WordPress site, this tutorial is going to show you step-by-step -step how to set up Microsoft advertising using the Bing UET tag to track your ads. Let's get started with step number one. The first thing we're going to do is install Monster Insights Pro. Not only is it the ultimate Google Analytics plugin for WordPress, but it's easy to use and it comes with an ad tracking add-on that allows you to install your Microsoft Ads UET tag in just a couple of clicks. It's easy to see why this plugin is the top choice of over 3 million active WordPress users. The best part is you don't need to be a coding wizard to set it up. With Monster Insights, you'll have Google Analytics running on your site in a jiffy. Plus, you'll see all those important insights about how people discover and engage with your site right on your WordPress dashboard. That way you can stay focused on the stuff that really matters. So head over to the MonsterInsights.com pricing page and start by downloading the pro version of the plugin. Installation super easy. Just follow the steps in the setup wizard. It only takes a few minutes. And if you need a little bit of help, just visit this article or watch the step-by-step -step video on how to install it on your WordPress site. I'll leave links in the description. All right, once you've installed Monster Insights, we'll move to step number two. Now we'll set up a new Bing Ads conversion goal. So open up your Microsoft advertising account and log in. And once you're in, click on Tools at the top and find Conversion Tracking under Conversion Goals. Now, if you see Smart Pages instead of Conversion Tracking, don't worry, just click on Upgrade to Expert in the left sidebar. Now under Conversion Goals, click the blue button that says Create. Here you'll see three types of conversions to choose from. Since we're setting up Microsoft Ads conversion tracking on WordPress, we'll select Website and hit Next. You'll need to use the drop-down list to pick a goal category for your conversion. The three main ones are Sales, Leads, and Others. Under each category, you'll see more specific conversion events to choose from. So for this tutorial, we're going to track Sales, Begin Checkout. That means every time a customer takes the first step in the checkout process after clicking the ad, a conversion is counted. Now, after you've selected your conversion type, you'll have another question populate right below that with a choice for goal type, a specific interaction that triggers a conversion. Now, if you'd like to track your Microsoft ad conversions in your WordPress dashboard and use our easy no-code method, you'll need to select Destination URL. You'll see the additional option, Event, along with a couple more goal types under Other. If you'd like to use one of those options as your conversion trigger, we suggest checking out WP Code for help installing custom code snippets and tracking tags. I'll leave a link in the description to WP Code if you're interested. Now, since we're tracking the beginning of the checkout process as our event and not the purchase, we're going to set up our e-commerce conversion tracking by destination URL. Right, when you're ready, go ahead and press the Next button at the bottom. Great job. Now let's go to step number three. All right, in this step, you'll need to fill out some fields under Create a Destination Goal. So you'll first need to give your conversion goal a name. Now choose your destination URL type from the four options in the drop-down menu. If you'd like to know more about each of these options and what you can do with them, I'm going to leave a link in the description with more details. Then enter the target destination for your conversion in the field next to it. The last field here is Revenue. This is where you'll decide how to track conversion value in Bing Ads and set the value of each conversion. If you're tracking product purchases, well, you'll probably want to set it to the second option and use Variable Revenue, meaning that the value of the conversion action may vary by purchase price, for an example. Now, for our page view event, we'll set our value to be the same, $10 for each conversion. So go ahead and enter the value that you want to assign or the default value if you're using a UET variable. We're going to use contains and we've entered checkout as our page view destination. That way Microsoft tracking will record a conversion anytime checkout is in the URL, regardless of any other strings that are attached from pages the customer visited before beginning the checkout. Now right under revenue, you're going to see more conversion customizations in the advanced settings and there's one section we definitely need to look at, and that's count. The count setting lets you decide if your advertising tracking will record a conversion every time the event is triggered or only when it's unique. For example, if you're tracking the start of the checkout process, like us, you'll want only to record the first time a customer has checkout in the URL. 
But if you're tracking purchases, you'll want to record every sale. Now, as a quick side note, Microsoft Ad already uses default auto-tagging to assign a unique ID to each visitor's ad click. So if you use a unique count, it's already set up to work. Now, feel free to edit any of the other advanced settings, such as scope, conversion window, or conversion attribution model. Now, when you finish, just press the Next button. Fantastic, you're making great progress, and it's time for step number four. Now, you'll need to set up your Microsoft Advertising UET tag. If this is the first time setting up a conversion tag, you may need to select No when asked if you have a UET tag, and then just save and move on. Now, at this point, the setup tool is going to show you a few options on how to add the Microsoft UET tags and code to your site, like using a developer, Google Tag Manager, or UET Tag Helper plugin. We won't actually need the code when installing with Monster Insights, but we'll still walk through it. So choose Install the Tag Yourself and click Next. Now, don't worry about the code that's shown. We're not going to need it with Monster Insights. And click Next. Go ahead and click Done at the bottom of the next page. And that's it. You've created a Microsoft Ads UET tag, and you'll see your new conversion event listed on the next page under Conversion Goals. Awesome work. We're almost there. Just a few more steps to go. Now head over to the WordPress admin panel and go to Insights and then to Add-ons. Now look for the PPC Tracking add-on and click Install. It's going to automatically activate once the installation is complete. All right, perfect. Now that you have the PPC ad tracking add-on installed, let's move on to step number six. Now let's go back to your Microsoft Ads account. And you're going to see your tag ID in the third column, so copy that ID. And make sure you keep it handy because we're going to need it in this next step. You're doing a great job. We're almost there. It's time for the final step. Now open your WordPress dashboard. And on the admin sidebar, just go to Insights and then to Settings and then to Conversions. Now scroll down till you find the section labeled Microsoft Ads Tracking and paste your Bing UET Tag ID under Tag ID. This step connects your Microsoft Ads Tracking with your WordPress site. Congratulations, you've successfully set up Microsoft Ads Conversion Tracking using Monster Insights and WordPress. Now you can easily track purchases and conversions, optimize your ad campaigns, and create a killer retargeting strategy. And that's a wrap. I hope you found this helpful. If you have any questions or need some further help, feel free to comment below. Remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell to stay updated with our latest content. Thank you for watching, and until next time, happy tracking and marketing.